Hey YouTube, Smoking Uncle Frank here. Um, you know, about the giveaway, I just thought I, I, I just wanted to throw throw a, a couple little updates up on my channel. Um, you know, I've never run a giveaway before, so I don't know what the hell I'm doing most of the time. Most of the time, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing, but but I but I kind of got gave it some thought after I shot my video and I. And I and I and I gave gave you a date that that I was going to do a giveaway to actually pull the winner, but I didn't really really uh, talk about a date to to end the contest. And I think it'd probably be a good idea to end the contest a little bit before I actually do the do the uh, picking the person because it's going to take me a little little while. It's going to take me at least a, at least a a few hours for me to pick out all the people, put them out, compile them onto a list, and, and number them and so forth, and then do a random random on it like I said I was gonna do so I'm thinking to myself you know I'm gonna end the contest this uh, coming up um, not this Monday but the Monday after I believe it is the mo Monday on the 12th uh, on the uh, on the 15th Monday the 15th I'm gonna end the contest at, at noon 12 noon my time that'd be uh, at central time I believe um, I look it up I live in Chicago so that 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 that'll be the time um, Anyway, that, that gives me at least gives me a day, a day or so before Wednesday. I'm off on Wednesday to kind of put together a list of people that I wanted that 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 that, that actually commented or, or gave me a VR or whatever. Um, there've been a lot of there've been a few people, that, some good comments, uh, some some uh, lengthy letters from some of y'all. You know, one and one in particular, the first one I remember I got I. Guy, guy said he was cam actually camera shy, so um, I forget your name, but um, shout out to you anyway. Um, thanks for the, thanks for the, f thanks for entering my contest. Um, you know, I'm just doing this to give back. I'm pulling my phone too while I'm talking, so because um, I want to check my dates here just to make sure I actually gave you the right date. I don't want to mess that up. Um, yeah, Monday, Monday the Monday the uh, I'm gonna pick the winner on the 17th. I'm gonna end I'm gonna end the contest on Monday the 15th at noon. That'll give me a day. That'll give me a good part of Monday and the following day to, to kind of put it put everybody down on paper and and get everything organized. And I'm, I'm an old man. What can I say? I'm I'm not I'm not as speedy as I used to be. So I need a little time to time to get things together so I can do this properly. Um, this is the first, like I said, this is the first time I've ever done a giveaway, so so hopefully hopefully that all works out for everybody out there. Um, I'm gonna put all this down in the description below, so so everybody can see uh, see what I'm up to. Uh, other thing I was thinking about my channel actually, and, and and some updates I'm gonna do, and I'm thinking you know I'm thinking I got a lot of old tobacco back there. You know you see my cellar. If you didn't um, check the videos, they're in there. Um, there's a there's a video on my cellar that I did, and it got all tobaccos in. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Maybe I start doing some reviews on some tobaccos. At least giving you my opinion of what I think. I mean, they may not be as as fanfare or as, as a big a deal as as some people. I mean, is is uh, as far as my description goes, you know. Um, uh, anyway. Um, the first one I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kind of do it today. A little, little, little talk, a little chat about some tobacco. I picked up um, something um, just before I started my vacation. I think it was a day, the, the the day or two before I started my vacation. I decided to take a little. I had a little couple of extra bucks in my pocket, so I decided to take a little jaunt up to my my uh, my local pipes pipe shop because I know I can always find something there. I, I can always find something there. They, they, they they got the uh, they got some of the good stuff there and and I gotta ask for it but they keep it keep it out low profile they don't they don't put it up on the shelf but but I asked them and they yeah they had some stuff there they had uh, I, I was trying to get, I was I was hoping to get a, a bag of Penzance but uh, unfortunately that was that was gone that was all sold out so I settled on a, a bag of Pla Blackpool that's the empty that's just the bag there but. Uh, I opened it up a few days ago, and I've been smoking it. And um, according to Pipe Pipe Review, I believe it is. Um, 
something like that. I don't know. I got I got it down here. Tobacco tobacco review on Esoterica Tobacco. So uh, it says uh, perfectly blended, hot pressed, dark and gold Virginias, jet black, shiny, with 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 natural oils, topped with a dash of liqueur extract. I don't know about that. I don't taste no liqueur in it, but um, maybe there is. I don't know. Thoroughly satisfying tobacco has has an English degree with with uh, marvelous smoking characteristics, and boy, it sure as hell is. Um, it it really really uh, well. I opened up the bag and I and I as usual I jarred it up. Um, so I got let get let you have a look and see what it looks like here. That's my jar. I put it, I put it in the mason jars. I, Learned that from old Berg and a bunch of you other guys out there, but uh, it's uh, that's a nice looking tobacco there. Whoops, I'm spilling it on the floor now. So I got a little bit drying out over here, and I'll fill my pipe and smoke a little bit, and I don't know, give you my thoughts on it. Um, for what it's worth. <laughs> like I said, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one for. Uh, my description isn't going to be as is is full as some people because I, I don't know how to how to really phrase things properly. I don't know. I, it's it's not so much about tasting it. I think is is it's how you describe tobacco, which makes makes the reviews. Some reviews better than others, I guess. Um, but got it in my my favorite, one of my favorites. I, you know, I, I had another one of these. Um, these. If you notice, this one's a little newer looking. It is. It's it's a new one. The other one, I actually I actually broke the thing. I dropped it a couple of times, and then I noticed there was a little fracture in it, and I smoked it, and I, and and one day I went to, went to tap it out. Part of it was my fault too. I abused the thing. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna try to be a little kinder to. Um, I I, um, I tapped it on things that I shouldn't have tapped it on instead of a cork. You know, sometimes I got lazy and I just whacked it on whatever was available. Not a good idea, especially for a meerschaum line briar. But I smoked it a lot, and I can't find a tamper. All my tampers are over there, so I guess I'll have to burn my finger. Or use the butt of my lighter or something here. They talk about Virginia's having grassy notes. Now, I don't know about you, I don't know anything, I don't know what you think about that whole grassy note thing and all that, but, uh, you know, excuse me for one minute, I've got to get a tamper because this is going to drive me wild, so I'm going to get up for a minute here and get one. Alright, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Somebody said I was down to earth in the video as well, that this is me, I'm down to earth, I don't... You know, I don't, I don't, like I used to do, but back in the day I can remember when i do a video when I would, I would see things that I did, that I didn't like, that I did wrong, and I would just correct them and correct, and before you know it, I'd have ten different videos I'd go through. I don't do that anymore, I just kind of wing it, I go, I, I shoot from the hip, and, and whatever comes out, comes out, and this is it. I'm not going to edit this video, I'm not going to do anything like redo it or anything like that. I'm doing it once and one shot and that's it. And if you don't like it, well, it's my channel. I'm going to do what I want to do. <laughs> back, back to the whole grassy note thing. You know, when I was a kid, I, I, I probably got my face shoved in grass more than once or, or, or had, the, had the occasion to taste grass and 
doesn't taste like grass to me. Uh, earthy, yes. Uh, maybe that's what they're what they're trying to get at, but an earthiness to it. Uh, I'm not. I, I for a long time I was really kind of against Virginias because they smoke hot. They they tend to smoke a little hotter. Which is probably why I like smoking them out of a meerschaum because the meerschaum does cool them down. And I like I like meerschaums, period, for that reason. Although I can't smoke meerschaum all the time. I got I gotta have my briars for outside and that and I don't you know, I usually carry a cheap little cheap little um, pocket pipe with me when I'm out and about because then I don't want to wreck any of my good ones. I'll carry something like this this old dog here, this thing here has been burnt and beat up and I I think I only paid, I paid next to nothing for it. I bought it a long, long time ago. So, it, it, it's a good tobacco. I, I enjoy it. Um, it's got some little, little bit of tanginess to it, I guess. So, until I get better descriptions, that's my review for this tobacco. Get it if you can. Um, I wanted to get, like I said, I wanted to get some Penzance, and I thought, well, maybe that or some Stonehaven, another Virginia, which I, which I do have, and I, and I, and I have smoked, and I like it. Um, not a whole lot of Virginias that 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 I can say I, I do like, but this one here, this one's. This one's good on, and, and it burns right down to the bottom of the bowl of fine white ash. There's no, there's nothing left when you're done. It 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 doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't do like some of the burleys do. The burleys the burleys I notice have a tendency of really caking up your pipe, and and with meerschaums I don't want them to. That, I think that's why I ruined that other pipe because I was smoking burleys out of it a lot. I was smoking a lot of um, velvet and and. Um, Oh, what's that other one? Uh, that Lane Limited, um, the the Edgeworth look-alike or alike type tobacco. I was smoking that a lot. I like that. I'm all out of it though. I gotta get some more. So anyway, without getting too long-winded, I don't want this video to be a half-hour long video. I'm gonna shut the hell up and uh, I'm gonna go back to my. Uh, my game I got over here, my uh, that's my, my my power Mac that I fixed up a while back. Get back to playing a little bit of Halo on the power Mac. So, wish everybody well. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for everybody. That's, oh, by the way, I've I've got uh, well, I almost forgot. I'm a forgetful old man. I almost forgot. Uh, I got a couple of, just a couple of quick little shout outs here, some people, because I was looking at my uh, my channel and I, and I got it bookmarked here in my phone, I got some new, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, up to, uh, I'm up to, right now I'm up to, uh, I got some new subscribers, up, up to 128 subscribers, I just got one earlier today, another new guy, uh, uh, Clay McBride, Thank you, uh, Reed, Reed Bender Bud. Thank you. Uh, if I screw up your name, forgive me. Goatman Steve, I think it is. I don't know. Uh, G O A T Goatman. Okay, Sandpiper. Uh, Mun, Mun, Mun Claude, Mun Claude. Gun, gen, 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 I can't read it. Mun Claude, thank you. Uh, Book Lover Piper. Uh, Laterus, uh, something like that. Uh, the Gentleman Scholar, Illinois Piper. Hey, you're in my neck of the woods, Illinois. Uh, B. Uh, Con, Con, B. Conrad. Uh, and then the rest of them are uh, Uncle Phil Seller. I think I already mentioned these guys before, but uh, Wildcat Sam 77, the Blue Line Piper, 
Super Super Glide uh, Fletch Fletch uh, anyway a lot of them in here uh, thank you all thank you all for subscribing uh, hope you get a chance to write me a little comment about how what got you into pipe smoking what got me into pipe smoking was uh, I was about 28 27 28 years old I guess I was working downtown in the jewelry business um, been in the business all my life watch repair mostly uh, watch business and uh, I was worked on I worked at uh, 5 South Wabash and just down the street me from me was Ewan Reese and I used to go by there all the time and I used to smell this wonderful smell come out of the shop all the time and I just I don't know I got in my head one day that I just wanted to wanted to go in there and look around and, and I wanted to pick out a pipe and give it a whirl, see how I liked it. And the rest is history. Here I am. Of course I uh I kinda put it away for a little while again and then uh came back to it again later on, uh, after I was an old man, but uh I, I did enjoy it back then. I remember I did enjoy it. There's well, I wish I had a I wish I had bought some of the tobaccos that were around back then that, that I mean I wasn't really a, a seller then I wasn't into you know selling a whole lot of different tobaccos I didn't even know nothing about that I just kind of buy something if I liked it I'd smoke it for a while and then I'd try something else and when that was gone I'd buy something else I wouldn't squirrel away a whole bunch of tobaccos like I do now. So I would have had a lot of I guess probably a lot of nice ones out there that I could have had. I remember Edgeworth was on the shelf then. I remember seeing it. I never really paid it no not a whole lot of mine. So with that, I'm gonna shut shut up once again. I'm gonna this time I'm really gonna shut up because uh this video is going on way too long. So I wish y'all well. Thanks for watching. Um uh, as always, uh, and, and, and just as a reminder, the contest drawing will be on the 17th, I believe, the 17th. Uh, it'll be a Wednesday. Uh, on the 17th, yeah, I'm going to pick the winner. On the, on the 15th at noon, I'm going to end the contest. That gives me a little time to put things together. So with that, I wish you all well. Happy smoking, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Click that bell icon if you want to, you know, want updates. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to be a little more uh, regular now on the channel. I'm gonna try to do a little more with the, at least with some tobacco view reviews and maybe talk about some pipes or whatever. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Take care, everybody. Bye, bye, all.